courtesy of the amazing ministry known as Tomorrow Clubs, a story about fences. In a strong society where mutual trust and respect are high, fences almost don't exist. In the small Moldovan town of Trusheni, fences are everywhere. During our recent visit, we had a chance to visit a couple of homes where kids from the local Tomorrow Club live and get a glimpse of what life is like behind those fences. In contrast, the local church in Trusheni, where Sergei and his wife Valeria run a Tomorrow Club, stands out as a beacon of hope. We're in this beautiful, beautiful village in Moldova right now, and there's lots of kids here for the Tomorrow Club, and we are just so excited that God allowed us to come to this place. There's lots of dogs, there's a little friendly little pony here, and lots of kids, and we just want to share this experience with all of you guys. So let's go inside and see the kids. Come on guys, let's go in. In this room now, we're going to join a group of younger kids that are doing their memorizing and reciting their Bible verses. So come on in. El a construit un altar și a pus fiul. Cindy's talking to the pastor of this church and he's been telling us what a great uh, uh, what a great outreach this is into the community because almost all the kids that come to this tomorrow club are from unchurched families in the village. One of the greatest joys Cindy and I have in our work is visiting the clubs and meeting the kids. My that is just one of hundreds of beautiful stories that are being written by the Tomorrow Clubs and you. If and you happen to be one of them there, Tomorrow Club supporters, thank you very much. You really can't do better than supporting the Tomorrow Clubs. Why? They go to very poor places in Eastern Europe, which is almost redundant to bring the gospel to the kids in the community who come to the Tomorrow Clubs. They get saved and then they bring the gospel home to mom and dad. They get saved and the local church gets strengthened. That story is being written over and over again. This is just one of those stories. We are always amazed by the stories we hear. And I'd like to share one of those stories about a 15-year-old boy named Mihai. My name is Mihai. My name is Mihai. I'm just baby John. And I'm 15. Mihai told us a few years ago he was hanging around with wrong friends, smoking, using bad language, heading down the same path as most of his peers. His family situation was very difficult. His father had left when he was young and his mother was working abroad. He hadn't seen her for a long time. We had a chance to visit the home where Mihai is living with his grandparents. 
His grandmother told us how difficult things are for them. There are no jobs to be had, and they live on the remittances that Mihai's mother sends. She has no idea when or if she will see her daughter again. Her greatest fear is that the authorities will take Mihai. Growing up, the only time Mihai had heard anything about God was in a summer camp, but he hadn't given the experience much thought. Then one morning, about two years ago, he was lying in bed thinking about where his life was going, feeling hopeless. That day, he visited the Tomorrow Club for the first time and met Sergei. Sergei, the club director, saw that Mihai was hurting and began to pray for him and disciple him as he came to weekly meetings. As the relationship grew, Mihai learned what it means to follow Jesus and soon was coming to church. He discovered that he loved to sing to God. Recognizing his talent, a teacher at school invited him to enter a singing competition, which scared Mihai to death. Sergei encouraged him, and he agreed to sing. He told us that when he got up on the stage to perform, everyone laughed because he had such a bad reputation. But when he finished, they were all on their feet applauding. The love that Pastor Sergei has for this young man was so evident as we spent time with him. What a beautiful example of discipleship. And as a result, today, Mihai is a truly new creature in Christ, singing regularly in church and helping to lead the Tomorrow Club. His life isn't perfect, but he does have one priceless possession, hope in Christ. Is there any story that is greater than a testimony? Whether you like it or not, if you join the Wretched Club, we can produce more videos like the one you just saw. Would you please consider supporting us by becoming a Wretched Club member and you get a bunch of stuff when you do. Now, if you're saying, ah, I can't afford that every month. We understand there are some things you can still do to help us. You can share these videos. You can follow us on social media. And most important, you can, and let me tell you something, we need this, pray for us. Either way, your support will be most appreciated.